Good morning, folks. Three days a week, Blake Fannin Hello. mans his post inside the doors of the Prestonsburg Walmart. You can always count on a smile and kind word. Thank you all for sh shopping at Walmart. Have a wonderful day. Being the greeter here is Hello. pretty special to this 20-year-old. Have a wonderful day, folks. It's his first real job. He's already considered a model employee. He is absolutely one of the greatest associates. Coming into the store, he's just so, he's, he's got so much energy and so many people know him. For Blake, he sees the good in every person and everyone seems to love him. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Very proud of you. The job is an outlet with every opening and closing of the door. Have a wonderful day, folks. It's his mission to try and make someone else's day better. What I like most about it is that def definitely m meeting and seeing all kinds of various people, including some that, that, that I already know. Only Blake doesn't see. Doctors never expected him to thrive, Hello. having been born with fluid on the brain and a condition where his optic nerves were underdeveloped. He's had two brain surgeries, Here. but has never let any of it stop him. He's just a person that you're not going to forget. He, he impacts you tremendously with his positive outlook. Um, he, just, he just glows from the inside out. Blake has no vision in his left eye and very little, if any, in his right. Everyday tasks are challenging. It's dropping the remote, not being able to find that remote asking for help because he can't find his phone. Along the way, Blake has relied on his faith and others for help. Everybody who's helped me read, everybody who's, who's done everything for me in school, out of school, at home, at work, every, everywhere, if you've helped me, I want to say right now, thanks for all your help. Blake is very spiritual. He tells me that he and his family have prayed daily for years that his eyesight might be healed. Well, turns out his prayers might just be answered. Definitely a this is new technology called eSight, and this is Blake wearing the electronic glasses. Sonia Roberts was skeptical at first, but called the company anyway. She found out Blake wasn't really a candidate. Desperate, though, to help her son, she drove him nearly five hours to Indianapolis. What she witnessed that day and is now captured on cell phone video was remarkable. Okay. Yeah. Four. I was so excited just to be able to see him read from across the room, to be able to tell an eight from a three, it was profound. Blake was amazed too, and he saw something he's been waiting his whole life to see. If I'm correct, her eyes look brown. And it was a moment his mother will never forget. She was very beautiful, very bright. The glasses developed by a Canadian company use a high-speed camera to magnify and clarify. The enhanced images are then projected on tiny screens inside the glasses. The cost? Something most people can't afford, $15,000. It's attainable. We're certain it's attainable. Asking for help wasn't easy, but they started a GoFundMe page and slowly it's growing. There is a difference between a handout or a hand up. And this is going to be life changing for him. Good morning. Roberts Hello. is hoping the kindness Blake has shown others might come full circle morning. and help her son. Howdy. He already Wonderful sees the world folks. around him in a much different light. Hello. Hi, how are you today? Never better, ma'am, you. Yeah, that's great. One that a pair of glasses will only Hello. help him see better. Would you like a heart? No, thanks. Okay.